Hello everyone. My name is Alex and in this video, I will show you how to edit your ATS friendly resume in Microsoft Word. This is the list of steps that we will cover in this guide. Go to the file resume edit me and choose the file to edit. Open it by right mouse click and selecting open with Word from the list. That's our example. I have prepared list of very basic shortcuts for Microsoft Word. You can stop the video and write them down, or you can also download it down in the box description in case you want to print it. Well with that said we can jump straight to editing your resume. Click and drag over the text that you want to highlight. If you want to remove this part you can press backspace or delete key on your keyboard. The style of removed text will remain. Put your info here. You can also place the cursor somewhere you want to type and remove text by pressing backspace. Now let's change the profession. Looks good. If you want to change font in your document, Select the part of text you want to apply new font and choose the new one here. Since it's ATS Resume you shouldn't choose anything fancy. Best will be to stick to some standard font, you can see the list on the right side of your screen. I picked Times New Roman. In case you would like to change color of the page in your document. Go to Design tab and click Page Color on the right. Then just select color you want to apply to your page. In that case I think light gray looks best. Let's say you have your old resume, and you want to copy some stuff from there. Unfortunately you may also copy text style. I will show you how to quickie fix it. Go to the file you want to copy text from. Press Ctrl or Command C to copy. Go back to your document. Paste it by pressing Ctrl or Command V. You see the style is not correct. Just a few adjustments. What we can do we can select a piece of text from different paragraph with correct style. Go to Format Painter and then select text with wrong style. Just like so. Your text should automatically change. You can also use shortcuts. Let's go back and do the same using shortcuts. Select text press shift plus control plus C to copy style, then select text with wrong style and press shift control V. It's done now. So we can jump to the next step. Best format to send your ATS resume is PDF. Word documents get formatted differently depending on the Word version a company is running. However, some systems still cannot read PDFs correctly. If that will be the case, you will probably need to send your resume as Microsoft Word document docs. Please check the job position description. I will show you how to save docs file. Please follow the steps. Go to Home tab and click Save As. Then change the name. For example name, surname, resume. Open the list of file types and choose Docs. Then select the location on your computer. Great, my resume was saved. Now I will show you how to export your file to PDF in Word for Windows. Go to Home tab. Click Save As. Give your file a name and select PDF format from the list. If you wish change the location on your computer, just like in previous step, and click save button. There we go. That's how our resume looks like. I think it's nice. If you are a Mac user and want to export file to PDF. Of course Word window must be active. Go to file, save as. Choose PDF from the list. 
Then give your file a name. Change the location if you want. Tick best for electronic devices and press export. Great, we are finished with editing our resume. Click allow and it's done. Before you will apply you can check if layout is fine and you have matching keywords. For this purpose I would recommend to use JobScan. You can have two weeks free trial and cancel it anytime before it ends. So check it out if you are interested. I will put the link below. Once you are on jobskin.co and already have your account go to dashboard. And click scan. Upload your resume. Then paste job description next to it. I have already done it, so we'll now just need to click scan. My resume is only for demonstrating purpose, so I won't get any points for keywords. And there we go. All things that are wrong or missing will be listed here. You should aim to have 80 plus score and then start applying. As you can see the formatting is perfect. The only red point is about paragraph length. So remember to keep your resume short and clear and it should be fine. You may be asked to send for example your resume and cover letter. If that will be the case you will need to merge PDFs into one PDF. To do so go to pdfjoiner.com. Now select files for merging. I will link PDF Joiner down in the description box. Put files in the correct order. That's the order they will be merged. Click join files and allow your computer to download things from this website. Once your merged PDF will be ready it should automatically save in downloads file on your computer. Ok, we just went through last step. I really hope it was super easy and you enjoyed the whole process. In case you have any questions send me the message and we will try to fix it as quick as possible. Thank you, bye bye.